Praise the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with the Men of Wisdom Ministry. My name is Dr. Vicki Lee Saints of Value, and it's an honor and a privilege to have my son here. He's kicking off Men of Wisdom, Emmanuel Praise. So why don't you just greet the audience and tell us what we have for our audience today. All right. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, Fresh Starts for New Beginnings, uh, recognizing trailblazers in the community. And it's going to be a, a show full of excitement and great awareness and community efforts. And we're just glad to be here. Amen. Amen. So next, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a praise. Yeah, that's correct. I'm back. It's Emmanuel Praise Men and Wisdom Ministries. I have a special and extraordinary guest, uh, guest here today. My co-host and my friend, Pastor Clifford. Well, you know, all the praise belongs to the Lord. I'm just thankful to be a part of what God is doing in 2013 and beyond. And it's a wonderful work, I believe, that God has given us to do together. And that's what it's all about, kingdom business, working together in partnership. And we thank God for mass media to be able to share a word of encouragement to God's people. Amen. Beautiful. That's great. This is Emmanuel Praise. Fresh starts for new beginnings. We'll be right back. Amen. We're back. Thank you for joining us. Fresh starts for new beginnings. Minister Emmanuel Praise, Men of Wisdom. And we have my co-host, Joshua Simon, Pastor Clifford. We have an extraordinary uh, great man of business that's uh, creating a lot of great things in the community. Uh, he specializes in championship networking. He has a new book called Championship Networking. Also, he has several groups uh, dealing with uh, real estate, uh, wealth management, uh, film. And here today, we want to recognize a great friend and a great friend of all of ours, Championship Networking. Give it up. Warm round of applause for Eric Shaw. Come on up. So uh, on behalf of Men and Wisdom Ministries, the Joshua Simon, we'd like to provide you with the excellent award of a, a Trailblazer Award for your efforts in networking and helping people with resources and, and their dreams come true. Thank you. My name is Eric Shaw, and I have a company called the All Cities Network. And I'm going to just talk a little bit about some tips that I've learned along the way, uh, how to be a better networker, how to improve your life. And really, as networking goes, it's all about giving. The first thing I want to tell you is a little tip that I use that I believe everybody should say to themselves in the morning when they get up. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. And just take a moment and think about that. And if you think you're doing things wrong, whether it's one piece or two, make that change. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in that particular sequence. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. Now here's another interesting thing that I've learned. It's all about giving. And I learned this about nine years ago. A friend of mine has a food on foot charity. We feed the homeless on Sundays in Hollywood. And going back nine years ago, my son was 10 years old at that time. And he'd be feeding the homeless every Saturday and every Sunday in Venice Beach and in Hollywood. And they got to know him. All the homeless people got to know my son at 10, 11 years old. Wow. My brother and his wife and his daughter, who was 10 also, came out to visit me from New York. And we were walking along Oceanfront Walk on Venice Beach, and about 20 yards away were three homeless people walking towards us. And I could sense my brother's daughter, who doesn't see homeless people in New York like you see them out here, was a little nervous, a little off-centered. 15 yards away, she started to creep back to the, behind her mom. 10 yards, five yards, she was totally behind her mom, and about three yards away, all three homeless people yelled out to my son, hey, Ellis, how you doing? And that says something. And the homeless people where we live know us, and here's why. Here's the spirit of giving that we do in our area. When you go out to dinner at night, or you go to a restaurant, do you let the people throw away the food, the leftover bread, or the meal you didn't finish? I save it all, and I give it out to the homeless right after dinner, because in, Ver in Venice and Santa Monica, there's loads of homeless. What was the effort involved? Give you another interesting tip. In my business, in the networking group, we have mixers every three months. And we try to raise money for charities, similar to what's going on here. And we were auctioning off some guitars and different implements. 
And it hit me. I was looking down at my name tag. Wow, it's a piece of paper. Who would like to buy a lifetime membership in all cities? $2,500. I was selling three of them every three months. It was nothing. It was just a piece of paper. And in reality, I was meeting people. And that's how I met Emmanuel. Wow. Okay, that spirit of networking is really what it's all about. Yeah. Also, I have a little humorous side note. Did you know that God's into networking? Yes, he is. And you say, well, how is that possible? Yes, he, is. He, gave you, he gave you two ears and one mouth. Listen twice as much as speaking. The whole idea is to learn what's going on in front of you, and then you can make some changes. In networking, we call that an elevator pitch. Can you say what you do in 30 seconds or less while you're in the elevator so you can finish that thought and say to the other person, and what do you do? Because if that door opens up and that person walks out, you spoke to yourself. And I know human beings love to talk about themselves. Yeah. And that's really not how it goes. Uh -huh. Also, and it's interesting, I came in and I saw the clock. If you notice, the clock's 15 minutes slow. Uh -huh. One of the networking tips is, if you're invited to an event, you come 15 minutes early. Why? Vince Lombardi said, former Packer coach, if you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. That's right. If you go to Green Bay, Wisconsin, to Lambeau Field, Every clock is 15 minutes ahead. Uh -huh. Every single clock, no matter what it is. That's understanding what we're all about over here. Um, how do you know if you're networking? This is very good. I know anybody here been a first time person at this event? Or everybody's been here before? Well, let me ask you, when you walk through the door, were you a little bit nervous because you didn't know anybody here? Uh -huh. If you're a little bit nervous, you must be networking. Because if everybody here was your friend, you wouldn't care. Greatest thing in the world. So don't feel bad if you feel that way. Mm -hmm. What perceived me, what made me realize the power of networking? And I've been doing my networking business now for close to 22 years. And here's what happened. Nine years ago, I woke up and I said, I don't really want to meet a life insurance person or a human resource person. I just didn't felt it was good for business. So I paid them back their money and said, sorry, you don't fit my group. My son is a special needs person. He has ADHD, all right? Now, think about this growing up. Remember the kid when you were in fifth grade, sixth grade, eighth grade, the guy that was always making noise and the teacher say, you're being punished. Go to the back of the room. You're staying after school. Was he really a bad kid or did he have something wrong with him, ADHD? Maybe he had something wrong with him. We're blaming him for being a bad person. No. And that's only been diagnosed maybe in the last five to 10 years more than ever. What was the tip that I learned from that? One of the lawyers who I said was a child advocate. What's a child advocate? Here's your money back. Don't be a member of my group. And then somebody said to me, Eric, you need a child advocate to stand up for the rights of your child. That child advocate not only saved me, he got the government to pay $600,000 over a period of five years to send my, stu my, stu my son away to a school. And I'm saying this, and you're listening to this, if you have somebody like that, don't look at them as being, boy, they're very abusive or they're this. In reality, they need help. Mm -hmm. And that's where I realized that networking gets involved more than anything else. How do you give back to help those people? And that's what I learned in mentoring. Very similar to Emmanuel. I don't know if you noticed, Emmanuel happened to lose about 70 pounds, probably in the last year, year and a half. So did I. I lost 70 pounds. And I said, what am I going to do with all my clothes? When you go to Venice Beach, there are many, many homeless people there. I started giving out my suits on Venice Beach. Best dressed homeless people around for about six months. Just want to let you know that. <laughs> Three-piece suits, they look really good. They look really good. And that's really what, it, what it's really all about, is knowing how to, how to give back. And that's the key, uh, is really what I'm trying to get to here. Um, the charity that I'm talking about, Food on Foot, if you want to see firsthand what that means, feel free to go down there uh, in Hollywood and Vine and check out what it means to feed 400 people on a Sunday. That spirit of giving back is really, again, what it's all about. It's grounded me, mm -hmm. okay? I learned when my dad had uh, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. 
okay? And, you know, that happens as we get older. Your parents, that's just what goes on. And my dad lived in Florida. And, you know, when you get older, maybe your parents don't live close by. You only see them twice a year if you go there. And maybe they come out here. But the last year of his life, I flew him out to California, put him in a home out here, and saw him every single day for about 247 days in a row. I made up the past of the last 20 years that you don't see your family as much. Really what I'm saying is don't lose track of the people that brought you here. That to me goes a long way in living. And let's see what else we can. Um, going back to, I guess, if I took you out to my car right now, in Venice again, a lot of the homeless have pets. Yeah. If I take you out, I go to 99 cent store once a week and I buy about four boxes of dog food. All right, dog biscuits, dog food, puppy chow, whatever it is, you go out to my car, you can see the boxes in the car, and I'll pass them out to the homeless people that I see with dogs. But I go one step further. In the area that I'm in, I happen to know the owner of VCA Medical Centers. You've seen them all around. I met him through playing basketball 30 years ago, and he started VCA Medical Centers. Every time I see a homeless person with a dog, I tell him to bring him over there, I'll foot the bill to make sure your dog's okay. That to me, those are little things you can do without ever worrying about, am I giving back? Uh -huh. When people come to my networking group, there's a section called needs, deals, wants, and testimonials. Okay? People always say, I want, I want, I want. Why don't you give back? Eric, I don't know how I can give back. Uh -huh. Why don't you bring a guest? Right. Emmanuel came to my meeting yesterday, and he brought two people. Right? Those two people are meeting with five other people from my group to get from point A to point B. And if I tell you what my elevator pitch is, here it is. The All Cities Network, as the founder of the group, my job is to make sure everybody makes money. My job is to get you from point A to point B, and that could be 17 steps. And that's what my job is, and Emmanuel knows that. It's not a one-stop shop. It's how do you help me get there, and that's what I learned in networking. So with that, Emmanuel, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Boy, that was so impactful. And again, thank you for coming, Eric Shaw. But also, we know that you have a great book and is doing a lot of great things, Championship Networking. Want to share more about it? Sure. I've written this book called Championship Networking, as you can see over here. And all my information is down below on the screen. You can see my email, how to reach me uh, by phone. I like talking to people. And what it is, is there's 101 tips in how to be a better networker to get you from point A to point B. And it affects every part of your life, from the time you start to the time you end. That's the entire book. That's right. And again, that's Eric Shaw, Championship ne Networking, Joshua Simon, Men and Wisdom. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back to Fresh Starts with New Beginnings. And our next guest is a profound trailblazer mentoring and tutoring children in the urban communities. Please welcome Michael Freeman, Minister Michael Freeman. Hello, my name is Michael Freeman and I'm the executive director of Elevate Your Game. Elevate Your Game is an organization that is giving our urban teenagers real hope and a real future for their lives. Through our mentoring programs that we've established at five urban high schools, two middle schools and two community sites, we are lifting urban teenagers to a higher level in their grades, attendance, and maturity to empower them to be leaders. It all started when I went to my 25-year high school reunion for Compton High, and the principal of Compton High was there at the time to give us an update on the school. But more importantly, he gave us an appeal for help. In so many words, he said, come back to Compton High School and help us. Right then and there, I felt God saying to me, this is your next assignment. Go check it out. So two weeks later, I was back in the principal's office of Compton High. And there in his office, Mr. Lyle shared with me the need and his vision for starting a mentoring program on the campus of Compton High. Right then and there, I felt God confirming to me that this was the assignment he wanted me to take. And so I volunteered for the job. And from that day forward, we began working together to launch this mentoring program. Dejan grew up in the North Point Apartments in Long Beach. And he had a lot of so-called friends, some of whom tried to take him down the, the wrong path in life. 
He says, one day my friends asked me to go, go with them to steal bikes. And as we were leaving, my mentor asked me if I was coming to elevate your game. So instead of going with, with my friends to steal bikes, I went to elevate your game. And I'm so glad that I did. On another day, my friends tried to stop me from going to elevate your game. One guy even started a fight with me. But this did not stop Dejan. He said to himself, no, this is my life. I'm going anyway. And I'm going in there to do something positive instead of hanging with them and doing nothing with my life. Those of you who are listening to this, I ask that you would consider how you might help us fulfill this vision of starting an urban youth mentoring movement through the church that spreads into every urban high school in America so that more urban teenagers like Dejan can receive this very, very valuable mentoring experience. We need connections with churches and faith-based organizations that will come partner with us, join with us, learn how to do what we're doing so that they can take it to the urban high schools of their choice. I'd like to close with this. 40 years ago when I was in the eighth grade in Compton, I saw the Crip gang come into Compton and then I saw gangs spread like wildfire all throughout Compton and throughout the LA area and then throughout urban areas throughout the nation, destroying the lives of thousands, wreaking havoc in all of our urban communities. I am committed to starting a whole new youth movement that spreads throughout this nation. One that brings life and hope and healing and wholeness to our urban youth and to our urban communities. I pray that you will join with me in this effort. God bless you. Okay, we're back with Fresh Starts with New Beginnings. This next uh, person that's coming up is truly a godly man. I mean, his experience and his testimony will touch lives all over the world. I'm not going to steal his thunder. I'm just going to let him share what God has done in his life. But fresh starts with new beginnings, I think, epitomizes this man of God's life. And so we're going to encourage and welcome Pastor Tony Davis. Hi, my name is Pastor Tony Davis. I have a story that I would like to share with you on today. Uh, in 2003, I was on my way to pick up my wife from work when I was attacked by gang members. They shot me five times, leaving 10 bullet holes through my body. I died for 30 minutes. I had an out of body experience where my spirit left my, my shell, my body, and floated towards these clouds. These clouds opened, and I saw this huge, beautiful city, a place called heaven. From my tragedy, I've launched a, a, a nationwide campaign titled Stop the Violence with Tony Davis. I reached out to city mayors across the country, and I was so glad about so many of them responded. I reached out to 72 city mayors, and they all responded with great effort, wanting to be a part of the Stop the Violence campaign. I was so glad that here in Los Angeles, I was able to get Mayor Villaragosa aboard, along with Count Councilman Bonnard Parks, and I reached to other cities as well, Dayton, Ohio, to Atlanta, Georgia, to Tampa, Florida. So I thank God from one city to the next that we've been able to launch this Stop the Violence campaign and, and we've been able to touch youth across the country as I share my story about healing, about forgiveness, about changing your mindset. From my story also, I was able to pen a book. The title of my book is Heaven is Real. I've shared my story many times across the world on networks such as TBN, The 700 Club, any bio did a special called I Survive Beyond and Back. Along my journey, I've also recorded five gospel albums, and I thank God for every album that I've done. It took a moment, it took time, it took effort, it took sacrifices, but they all got done. Now, in this day and time, I'm so glad about what God has done in my life now. We are recently 90% done with a movie titled The Miracle of Tony Davis. The movie is very powerful. It's showing insights of what happened to me. It's showing insights of the experience that I had and that I went through what God brought me through and I was able to stand. The doctors told me I wouldn't be able to talk anymore because they mistakenly cut a piece of my vocal cord. But I'm talking today and I thank God for that miracle. The doctors told me they were gonna amputate my left leg, but I still have my leg. 
All of that is called a miracle. So God is still doing miracles, no matter what you're going through, what it looks like, what it feels like. There's still a miracle for you. If you just believe, trust, keep walking, don't doubt. Know without any shadow of a doubt that you know what? Somehow I'm going to get through my tragedy, my circumstance, my situation. I was able to turn my tra tragedy into triumph. And I thank God for what he's done in my life. Here, I would like to show you a clip of my movie. God bless you. Wow, we're back. Fresh starts for new beginnings. Men of Wisdom Ministries, Emmanuel Praise, Joshua Simon, Pastor Clifford, and Pastor Tony. It was that it was very heartfelt to see the imagery of your film and what you're doing and how you're reaching people. And again, we just want to thank you for being here. And may God be the glory. We give you all the honor with him and his service in the name of Jesus. And again, we want to thank you. Anything you would like to say, Pastor Cliff? Yes, this is really a testimony to me because I remember you and I having a lot of conversations when you moved from Los Angeles and you were telling me that God was bringing you back to the city where people took your life and that took a lot of courage. Yes. And uh, just to see what God is doing now making a movie is a personal testimony to me and I hope it's a pers personal testimony to our TV audience. Yes. Okay, stay there that are watching. We have an extraordinary young talent, fresh in the spirit, is going to perform in praise dancing, uh, and his name is Jai. So again, we'll be right back. More after this. Ooh, Don't want to blow things out of proportion I don't want to cross the line drawn out in the sand But to ignore this would be abortion Of a feeling that we now both know this deep Within. So in spite of embarrassment or rejection, it didn't matter. I could not be negligent or ignore what I feel anymore. That's why deep blood red is all I see. Blood red is what I want to be. 
Oh, how I shine, yeah. Oh, how proud I'd be if when you saw me. You can say I was inspired. I guess you can tell my heart was moved with a yearning, paramount desire. Oh, to be something monumental to you. Taking this moment to bestow or present my heart to you, to show you the weight of the magnitude of my interest in you. That's why deep love reigns. So I see deep love reigns. Is what I wanna be. Oh, how I would shine. Oh, how proud I'd be if when you saw me, you would see deep blood. There are no other words, other words, above the word, above the word, destiny, destiny, me and you, me and you, you and me, you and me, could it be, possibly, Your favorite, just like the blood rain, the one you love and you cherish, like blood rain. Young people out there that are sold out for Jesus. 